And hello guys, I'm in uh, Blackpool, I'm on North Pier as it stands and all these long statue things are actually all new, uh, believe it or not guys. In all, to Allotments are actually um, all closed, to be totally honest with everybody. You got your tram wines, to be totally, totally honest with everybody. You saw your, tra your trams and that type of thing. Quite dead, really. To be totally honest, with everybody. Of course, another thing that does happen here in Blackpool is the tide itself does swirl round and can trap you on a little island in the middle of nowhere and then of course our rescuers have to come and rescue you. So please note that the tide is coming in like it is now and it's also working its way round this side by the steps and then you'll get cut off and then you'll be drowning. <laughs> over and over again, over two to three hours they were out looking for people on these rip sort of tides and obviously getting caught out by the, uh, the current. And uh, just keep an eye, when you're on the beach and you see it coming behind you as well as in front, that's when you've got to move because it's just happening too much now. So please keep your eyes on what's going on around you. This uh, building I'm approaching, uh, as it stands guys, is uh, Blackpool um, Lifeboat Station, to be totally and uh, honest. Um, it's a charity that saves uh, lives at sea, um, but they don't get it. The recommendation they actually uh, deserve, to be totally honest. These guys uh, and ladies um, don't get paid uh, to actually uh, save lives, believe it or not. And they take their own lives, in a sense, straight out to, into the sea to actually 
Um, save other peoples. To be totally, totally honest with uh, everybody. It's got uh, quite a nice uh, station, guys. To be totally uh, honest. This is the uh, This is the shop guys And hi guys, I'm John Babe Paul at Blackpool RNLI. What's it like uh, being a crew member of Blackpool RNLI? And what does it mean to you? Uh, Blackpool is an extremely busy seaside resort. We get millions of visitors, and so consequently, sometimes those visitors get into trouble in the water. So the RNLI is a charity that saves lives at sea, and we perform a service and we do save lives at sea and last year we were the busiest lifeboat station in the northwest. Our average calls are between 40 and 50 calls per year and last year we were alerted 92 times so we've doubled the, the, the turnout that we normally achieve. You must have had your fair share of dangerous call outs. Uh, how do you feel about having to go and rescue somebody at sea? How does it make you feel? It's the best feeling in the world when you, when you do rescue people. Uh, to save lives at sea it is just a, a fantastic feeling and the whole crew, the whole team within the station it feel good after a good rescue. Thank you, Paul. Blackpool Lifeboat Station, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. And hi guys, I forgot to mention whilst they're doing that video that the RNLI actually has two sections. They have a volunteering lifeboat section and they have a council lifeboat section all over. Uh, the United Kingdom uh, there is things that people don't realize that there is voluntary crews that do not get paid but if it's a council lifeboat the crew members do actually get paid uh, to actually go out and save lives and it's the council that runs that type of um, lifeboat station to the volunteering lifeboat station so if you're actually going to donate to the RNLI the Royal National Lifeboat Institute um, you actually need to do your homework which one you're actually donating your money to because you don't really want to donate your money to a council uh, run lifeboat that actually crew members do get paid for. You want to actually donate your money to a lifeboat station and to a lifeboat where the crew members don't get actually paid for it and they're actually going out and wasting, wasting, 
risking their lives to actually save people's lives at sea. Um, so actually do your own work on who you're actually donating the money to uh, because you like to keep that uh, slightly hidden on which ones are council and which ones are members of the public um, run, basically. So uh, have a look into it before you start donating, guys.